everybody, this is Plastic Commando, and we are now at round 10 of Axis and Allies World War I 1914 solo game with custom uh, miniatures, out of box rules, as well as house rules. And it is Austria Hungary's turn. Austria Hungary has 46 IPC to spend, and they will be purchasing. A fighter battleship as well as a transport and seven infantry this round all right let's get to the map okay uh, Austria Hungary this round will continue the attack in Tuscany uh, with the forces that are already in place minus the machine gun unit uh, which is defense uh, we will be moving in additional forces in the adjacent province uh, including one tank and all of the infantry and then uh, we're going to make an amphibious assault as well over to Tuscany which is going to be the same sea zone uh, sea zone 18 that Austria Hungary ships are in and we will be bringing over two infantry and two poison gas artillery on the two transport ships. Both of those will be uh, hitting as well as uh, we will have a barrage from the battleship as well uh, with the forces that are assaulting. Okay, And then um, the Austria-Hungarian forces that are in Alsace, uh, which neighbor Lorraine, which is currently uh, contested by the Germans and the French. The Austrian-Hungarians are going to move in and launch their own attack against the French. So that'll be the secondary combat. The remainder of forces uh, on the map, including our fighter, and forces in Poland will continue to move forward to the Western Front. Okay, we'll uh, go ahead and take care of these movements off camera and then we'll get to the combat. All right, uh, we're going to take care of the combat in Tuscany first. And um, again, uh, we've got an amphibious landing and we've got a battleship that'll do offshore bombardment. And we're going to go ahead and roll for our battleship at this time, looking for a four or less. Okay, looks like we got a three. That's a hit. Okay. And um, Italy does not have any artillery, so there will be no uh, bombardment of our troops that are landing. But we'll go ahead and take care of the uh, Italian machine gun. And the machine gun will hit on a four or less. Okay, they got a one. All right. And that will take... Uh, It'll take two troops from Austria-Hungary as casualties. And a uh, machine gun uh, hits, uh, after a hit, excuse me, uh, five or less is killed instantly on the battlefield. Six is a save. Uh, however, there's no ambulance uh, hospital services uh, nearby. So effectively, these two are killed. So uh, these will not participate in the attack, okay? And uh, we have advanced our tank as well as seven infantry given the uh, seven artillery we have. All right, let's go ahead and roll for our poison gas. And we've got uh, two units and we're looking both for three or less. Okay, looks like we did get one hit. All right, and that will take uh, two infantry as casualties. And now for a saving roll for the Italian infantry. Uh, again, one or two is a save. Uh, three, four killed instantly on the battlefield. And in this case, five or six as well because Italy does not have a hospital on their peninsula. So we'll go ahead and, uh, and make the potential saving rolls for the Italian infantry. Okay, we've got a four and a five. Both of these uh, will indicate that they are killed in action by the poison gas. All right, so these are removed and will not be able to defend as well. 
Okay, so we've taken care of the poison gas. We'll go ahead and roll for the remainder of the artillery, which is five artillery. And this will be three or less. Okay. All right, looks like we got one hit on that bomb, bomb, uh, bombardment. All right, uh, we'll do the seven infantry at three or less. All right, that was already there. Okay, three or less. Got two hits there. Got another hit. Okay, and that's gonna do it. Uh, that's a total of five hits. Again, uh, Italy lost their two infantry due to poison gas, and uh, they only have three units left. So we have a uh, effectively destroyed the Italian army that was in Tuscany and now we will go ahead and roll uh, for the remainder of their troops again the machine guns already fired so we're looking at uh, one or less for the tank okay they missed and then lastly three or less for the infantry okay they did get a hit all right so we'll take uh, take one more infantry off and that's going to conclude the battle for Tuscany the Austria-Hungarians are the victors, and we will return these back to the map, and they will get. We will do the second combat over in Lorraine. Be right back. All right, uh, we'll take care of the combat action in Lorraine, and uh, no special factors, no air superiority or anything. So just straight up combat. Uh, we'll roll for our one attacking infantry first, and that's a two or less. They've got a four miss, and uh, we have five artillery, and this will be at uh, three or less. Okay, looks like Austria Hungary got two hits total. Yep, that's it. So we will take two hits. Uh, we'll take two of the uh, Portuguese troops, which are under the uh, French command. As casualties and now return fire from the French it'll be you see we've got four three or less four five six seven total three or less including artillery okay. all right uh, it's like France scored uh, four hits total yep got four hits total and return fire Okay, so we will take, have to take, uh, looks like four artillery, which will work. All right, and this, uh, of course, Lorraine is already contested via the Germans and the French. And basically, uh, Austria-Hungary went in to soften up a little bit of their defense. And looks like Germany should be able to effectively take Lorraine on their turn as well. So. We'll return these back to the map, uh, make all of our, well, we've already made our movements, uh, make our final adjustments on the IPC. Be right back. All right, uh, just to show the movements we did make, uh, we moved all of our units from Poland uh, into Silesia in Germany, uh, moved forces in uh, Venice uh, as well down to Tyrolia and moved forces into Venice as well. Um, and then you'll see uh, Austria-Hungary is firmly in control of Tusc Tuscany and I believe Italy's going to fall <laughs> uh, that's an understatement and I think that's going to be it we'll place our new units uh, in the capital of Vienna collect our IPC um, Austria-Hungary goes up to IPC and now uh, we are off to Germany. Round 10, Germany. Germany's got 52 IPC to spend. And Germany will be purchasing four battleships and one infantry for a total of 51 IPC, which will give them one dollar left over for the next round if there is a next round. It's looking bad in Western Europe. So let's get to the map. All right, uh, we're going to take care of a uh, small battle in uh, Africa. 
the uh, forces of Major General Paul von Leto Vorbeck uh, will be entering Cameroon to take on the two French defenders. Um, the machine gun unit obviously uh, will not participate, but we had moved it from Rhodesia over, and then the one shoot troop unit came from Angola over. And so these three will be participating in the attack, and uh, we are heading over to Europe. Okay, Germany is all in. They will continue to combat in Lorraine, and uh, they are dominating the remaining French forces as it is. Um, Germany has two poison gas units as well, two fighters, and um, so they are going to continue the combat in Lorraine. However, one fighter is actually going to come over to uh, Belgium. And then the forces, the German forces that are in Belgium, minus the machine gun units, will uh, press the attack against the Allies. And then also participating in the combat will be the units in the rear, which is directly adjacent to uh, Belgium. And this will include stack of infantry on both sides, regular artillery. Uh, another stack of artillery, one unit of poison gas, and three tanks. Okay, um, these will also be moved into Belgium. And then lastly, uh, the German Navy in Sea Zone 10 will make a preemptive attack on the North Fleet. Uh, Germany knows it's outnumbered. Uh, they will be bringing up the additional two cruisers. Uh, thus, the, the purchase of the additional German fleet. Germany is going to do what it can to see if they can annihilate the Allied fleet that is defending the mass of transports uh, around England. So we've got three combats, uh, four combats, including Africa, we've got to get to. So let's get on it. All right. Uh, We'll do the uh, combat in Cameroon first. Uh, we'll just take care of this right here on the map. Uh, France will be rolling in blue, uh, the Germans in red. Uh, again, uh, the Germans attacking on two or less and the French defending on three or less, okay? All right, so Germany scored uh, one hit and the French two hits, all right. So the French came out the better on that, looks like. Okay, so we'll take one French casualty and we'll take the two shoots troopers. And this area is gonna remain contested. So we'll knock uh, France down one IPC. Okay, and now we'll get to the battle for Lorraine. Okay, battle for Lorraine. Okay, uh, Germany has air superiority, and uh, we have accordingly moved all artillery up to four or less, as, including the one infantry, which will be three or less. Germany will go ahead and roll for its fighter to strafe the enemy. We're looking for a one or a two. Okay, Germany misses. All right, we'll take care of the one infantry at uh, three or less. Germany misses again. All right, so we've got uh, two poison gas, which we'll go ahead and fire off. And uh, both of these are looking for a four or less due to air superiority. Okay, we've got two hits. Okay, and that will take up to two casualties uh, each. Of course, there's only two infantry, so both of these now have to uh, make saving rolls. Again, ideally looking for a one or two. Um, and again, although they have the amulets in the adjacent province, the, uh, excuse me, the, uh, the uh, hospital, the amulets is actually in Picardy. Uh, so uh, a save of five or six will not happen in this one. So in essence, the French are looking for a one or two. And they get neither. Okay, both, uh, both infantry are gone and will not uh, be able to defend. So we've got three artillery 
uh, left, but we'll go ahead and complete uh, the remainder of Germany's artillery, which is four. And again, we're looking for four, four or less. Okay, Germany got uh, three hits total, and that'll do it. Okay, so we'll brace for the uh, return fire of the three French artillery units. Okay. Three or less. Okay, France got one hit. All right. Okay, the Germans now are in total control of, of Lorraine. We will uh, return these back uh, to the map and make the adjustments on the IPC. Be right back. All right, uh, next we'll take care of the naval battle in the North Sea. Uh, the Germans have moved in and we now have to roll for the British sea mines and we will roll for all six ships and again we are looking for anything but a one okay looks like uh we did hit a sea mine so there's one ship that'll be removed immediately and that will be the german cruiser all right that is off and now we will roll for the remaining german ships uh first uh, we'll roll for the uh, three remaining German cruisers, looking for three or less. Okay, looks like uh, we got uh, two hits. Okay. All right, so uh, we'll take take the one hit on the uh, U.S. cruiser, and the Brits uh, will take a hit on a battleship. Okay, now we'll roll for the uh, two German battleships. Again, four or less, and we got both of those as well. So we'll take uh, the two other hits on the French battleships. Okay. All right, so now the, uh, the Allies will be returning fire, and we'll first roll for the uh, U.S. cruiser at three or less. Okay, the U.S. did manage to make a hit, and their ship is actually sunk as well. So we'll take, uh, Germany will take one hit on a battleship. Okay, and now we've got uh, a total of uh, five uh, allied battleships that'll be rolling. And we are looking for four or less. All right, uh, wow. Yeah, got one hit. I think the, uh, I think the Admiral needs, needs to be relieved of his duties. Okay, so Germany will take one additional hit on a battleship, okay? All right, uh, the Germans will press the attack, obviously. Uh, we're gonna roll for the three German cruisers, looking for three or less. Okay, we got uh, two hits in total. And uh, those those two hits will go directly to the battleships. And now we will roll for both German battleships, four or less. Okay, looks like we did manage to get one in the corner. Okay, and that, that hit will be applied to one of the French battleships, which will sink. All right, so in return fire, we've got, again, the five battleships rolling for the Allies. And looking for four or less. Okay, looks like uh, we got a total of three hits. So I guess the I guess they did manage to find a new admiral to take charge. Three hits. That'll go. Uh, which uh, we will take the cruisers. German cruisers are now sunk. As is the one French battleship. Okay, so we've got uh, two German battleships remaining, four allied battleships, all of which are damaged, and the Germans will press the attack. Two ships at four or less. Okay, they did get one hit. All right, and we'll go ahead and sink the other French uh, battleship. The thought on that is, uh, specifically, um, since these are all damaged by Britain, it would be a lot quicker for Britain to repair their battleships than having to get the French ship back and then have it to come back up to, to help out later. 
So uh, it's better to sink the French. Okay, so now we've got um, four remaining battleships for the Allies, which we'll roll for. All right, I think that's done it. They got uh, three total hits, and that will effectively sink the German Navy. And the French battleship is sunk. And so uh, Britain has three battleships remaining, all of which are damaged. And uh, we'll go ahead and get the damage markers under these. And we will move our, the, all of the forces in Belgium, as well as those attacking from the rear, over to the battle board. And we'll be right back. All right, we are now in Belgium. And uh, Germany has air superiority. And uh, because of that, uh, Germany's tanks will be advanced to three or less. Um, all artillery will be ad advanced to four or less, including the uh, poison gas unit. And then uh, due to the amount of artillery we have, all of our infantry as well will be advanced to three or less. Okay. All right. Uh, I do believe this is probably the largest land battle we've had of the game. So... Let's go ahead and get in it. Germany's going to roll for their fighter plane initially to strafe. And we're looking for two or less. Okay. And we missed. Okay. We will roll for the three tanks. Again, looking for uh, a three or less. Okay. And we got uh, one hit, looks like. All right. Uh, we will go ahead and finish up our three or less rolls. Uh, so Germany has, uh, this is a stack of, both of these are stacks of five, so that's 10, including the ones on top. 11, 12, 13, 14 total, three or less, okay. All right, uh, so got a hit, another hit there. Okay, we got another one. Again, looking for three or less. Okay. All right, and I do believe that is it. Okay. All right, so we'll pull these out. And now we will go ahead and roll for Germany's poison gas artillery. And again, due to air superiority, we're looking for a four or less to hit. And got a five. Missed on that one. All right. So now, in terms of remaining artillery, we have a total of, uh, looks like, uh, 22 artillery plus 23, 24, 25, 26 total artillery. That'll be rolling at four or less. Okay. Okay, we will do 12 initially. Okay, looking for four or less. Okay, looks like we got two there. Uh, we got uh, two more as well. And I think, yeah, that is it. Okay, all right. And now we will do the remaining 14. All right, 14 at four or less. Okay, looks like we got uh, two here in the corner, two at the top. We got another, looks like two more on the side. Okay, I should make that three. Okay, we got two more additional. Well, all of them. Not a bad, uh, not a bad volley that time. All right, nice. Okay, that's it. So that's uh, that's going to be the end of Germany's uh, firing. So let's see what we've got here. So we've got uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-three total hits. Perfect. Okay, so that'll be 23 hits applied to the Allied forces. 
and don't know it may maybe enough maybe maybe just shy we'll see okay we'll go ahead and uh, pop these off here okay In there, okay. Two, three, four, five. Okay. All right. So there's another five. Okay, so we're dealing with uh, okay, we got 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. I believe that's it. All right. Let me double check on that, just to make sure. All right, you gotta love the magic of video. I took off 25 and that's why I wanted to double check. Uh, trying to film and play a game at the same time, you, you, you need someone to, to kind of watch over you at times. All right, so we got 23 off, uh, we've got 23 hits, and I managed to take off all of the Americans so what will be remaining in Belgium will be a strict British force of three artillery and one infantry. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and roll for Britain. Okay, so we've got a total here of uh, 15, 16, three or less. Okay, so we'll roll for the 16 three or less of infantry. Okay, all right, looks like uh, we got two here. We got another, another. Two more. Okay, again, looking for threes, three or less. Okay, got another one in the bottom. I do believe that is it. That's 16 infantry that is fired. We'll go ahead and roll for the British tank. That'll be on a one. Okay, that one missed. And now we've got, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten artillery that will hit on also a three or less. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. Got two here. Got another one. Looks like two more. And one in the in the bottom here. And I think that is it. Yep, that'll do it. All right, so in total, Britain scored uh, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen hits on the enemy. Fifteen hits. Okay. Three hits will be absorbed by Germany's attacking tanks, so that'll leave a remainder of uh, 12 hits total, which uh, we will uh, we will take off from the infantry. So we've got uh, here again stack of five, another stack of five. That's 10, 11, 12. Okay. All right. So these these German troops are eliminated. And uh, Belgium is going to remain contested. However, um, man, Allied forces are devastated. Let's get these to the map. We'll take a look. All right, uh, we've uh, turned the units to Belgium. And you'll notice uh, things have substantially changed. Um, the Allies are substantially weaker, uh, substantially. And um, the Brits uh, and the Americans both did have a poison gas artillery unit. We eliminated the American artillery uh, because, frankly, in defense, it doesn't matter. Uh, they, they can't use the poison gas in defense. But the Brits do um, bring back their poison gas still in defense. And there are two additional that uh, that was left as well. Uh, they got one infantry. Uh, they can't they can't attack in Belgium. Uh, the Germans have three machine guns, and uh, uh, they still have got they've got three tanks, 
26 regular artillery, um, one poison gas, two infantry, a fighter. Uh, they have uh, six artillery in the rear coming up, uh, which will join the attack next round. Two more tanks, another infantry unit. We moved additional forces from Hanover as well, or into Hanover, I should say, from Berlin. And uh, we've got the uh, uh, revigorated uh, German Navy. And that's a problem because we've got uh, we've only got three uh, Allied battleships, both all Britain, all damaged. Now they will be able to um, be able to um, get these repaired on their opening round next. Uh, well, when it's their turn, because they're in the same sea zone as London, so when it is uh, Britain's turn, they will be able to repair these. So it's not it's not looking good at all right now for the Allies. So we're going to continue on um, into the round. Uh, we'll see what France is able to muster, how they can position additional troops. And uh, again, we'll continue on, but uh, we're going to size up at the end of this uh, round of play, see where we are on the map, what things are looking like, and what are the prospects. All right. Uh, and again, we've uh, placed our units, uh, like I said, in the capital, just the one infantry. And uh, that's going to do it for Germany this round. Now we're off to France. All right, round 10, France. France has a total of 26 IPC to spend. And France, frankly, is in desperation mode. Uh, they will purchase six machine gun infantry units, all for defense, for a total of 24 IPC. Uh, that'll give them uh, two remaining IPC for the next round. And uh, let's head to Paris. All right, we're in France. France is going to make one final attack, likely. Uh, the forces in Picardy, uh, the French forces, will move. Uh, the entirety of their force into Lorraine and see if they can expel the uh, German and Austro-Hungarian forces. That's the weaker of the of the two between uh, Lorraine and Belgium. Um, and that will empty out Picardy. Uh, we've got uh, few forces there in Paris that can move out. Uh, we'll see what the result is. Uh, well, we'll have to make our movements. Uh, we're going to have to move some additional forces, uh, likely all of which is going to be into Picardy. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be it for France. So let me, um, let me decide uh, the directions I'm going to make the other movements. Uh, these forces will be attacking Lorraine. We'll get those on the battle board. Be right back. All right, uh, we've um, taken our forces out of Lorraine. We've got those on the battle board. We've moved everything out of Picardy uh, to attack Lorraine with the exception of our machine gun unit and uh, motorized ambulance. Um, we also sent the fighter that was in Paris, which will be attacking Lorraine uh, because Germany does have a fighter, so we'll have to determine air superiority. And then the other movements that will be made will be uh, two artillery units that will go to Picardy, as well as two machine gun units as well, which will give France a total of three machine gun infantry units uh, for defense. And I think that's going to do it. Uh, we are going to try to uh, see if we can... Um, no, we're going to pass in, in Africa. France has got the one infantry in Cameroon. It's better just to stay on the defense as opposed to attack. So, all right, uh, we're going to do the battle for Lorraine on France. Be right back. Okay, we're back in Lorraine. So up first, uh, we've got to determine air supremacy between the French and the German fighters. And uh, so France will roll a blue die, Germany the white die. 
and we're looking for two or less to determine air supremacy. Okay, it's like Germany, Germany got it, France missed. All right, so French fighter is eliminated. Okay, Germany will have air supremacy. Because of that, uh, Germany's artillery will advance to four or less. Um, you know what? I don't know that I've ever had this come up. Uh, we've got an Aust Austria-Hungarian artillery as well, but Germany has air supremacy. So I don't know if that one gets promoted or not. Um, somebody leave me a comment on that. Uh, I think I can look it up in the book, but I'm going to go on the assumption. I'm going to go on the assumption that I can. Okay. Might be wrong on this, but they're all artillery. Uh, the allies have air supremacy. So I'm going to go on the assumption that all artillery, uh, regardless will be four or less. Okay. All right. Leave me a comment if I'm wrong. Okay. All right. So France is going to attack, uh, and uh, we will roll for France's tanks first. Uh, they're attacking at two or less. Okay, both missed. Okay, we'll do the uh, the artillery since it's the shorter of the stack. Okay, we got four units, three or less. All right, got all four of those. Check that out. All right. So that is uh, four hits. Now we've got a stack of infantry. That's five, 10, 15. Okay. So we've got uh, 15, two or less, which we'll get to. Okay. All right, 15, two or less. Okay, so looks like we got one here. Got another. One more. Looks like two more here. Two or less. I think that is it. Yep, that's it. All right, so looks like in total. France has managed to score two, four, six, eight, nine total hits. Okay. All right. So we will take nine off of the board. I think that uh, could be it, maybe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, gonna have to be an infantry. Wow. Check that out. Germany's got, uh, they'll have one left. Make sure I'm right. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Okay. Germany will have one infantry left. They'll still be hanging on to Lorraine. How about that. Okay. Uh, so uh, Germany is going to roll first for their fighter in defense. Okay, and that'll be a uh, two or less. Okay, they got a hit. All right, so uh, two infantry at uh, three or less. Okay, looks like they got one more. All right, so now we got, uh, let's see, a total four, five, six, seven artillery, which uh, will be four or less. Okay. All right. Okay, looking for four or less. We've got two here. We've got two more up here in the corner. Two in the middle. And that'll do it. Okay. So it looks like Germany, uh, they scored uh, two, four, six, eight hits total. Okay. All right. Um, two hits will be absorbed by the French tanks. That'll leave uh, six in casualties. So we will take off a red chip for France and a white chip. Okay. All right. So this battle 
uh, is going to remain contested in Lorraine by nature of one lone German infantry hanging out. Okay, let's get these back to the map. Okay, we've returned uh, the French units to Lorraine. Uh, again, it remains contested uh, by nature of the one lone German infantry and his uh, two trucks. <laughs> um, okay, uh, there was also part of the artillery that Germany lost was poison gas units, if you recall. Those have been eliminated, obviously. Um, and uh, we have placed our new units. A whopping stack of six machine gun infantry units for France and Paris. Uh, despite the six machine gun infantry units, that, that only gets you so far uh, when you're facing 26 artillery. Uh, I know they're two spaces away, but France is in desperation mode at this stage. Okay, so we will uh, we'll finalize, uh, we'll get the money back into the French treasury, and we're off to Britain. All right, round 10, Britain. Britain has a total of uh, 27 IPC, and they will get nine infantry uh, for a total of 27 IPC. All right, let's take a look at the map. All right, um, Britain's got to move, and they're going to go ahead and attack in Mesopotamia. It may, it may not pan out at all. Likely it will not, but we've got, got to make a dent, and it's not getting any better whatsoever. So uh, we are moving all of our forces in as many as we can. Of course, the machine gun infantry unit will have to stay, as will the truck. Uh, the two additional units from India will move up to Persia. Okay. All right. And that'll do it for the Middle East. Uh, we'll come back to that battle. All right, and then in the purchase round uh, for Britain, uh, there's also the repair of ships. Uh, again, we're in the same sea zone, so as indicated earlier, uh, we can go ahead and get these repaired this round uh, since they are in the same sea zone, okay? All right, so uh, what's next <laughs> for Britain? Uh, well, obviously, they can't do anything in Belgium. The only thing that Britain's going to be able to do at this stage, as far as other movements, is uh, with their transports, they're going to send additional uh, support into Belgium, including their poison gas artillery. All right, but unfortunately, on defense, it'll be an artillery unit only. And I think that, yeah, that's it. That's it for all the movements uh, Britain will be able to make. So let's get on to the battle in uh, Mesopotamia. All right, Battle of Mesopotamia. Uh, the Ottomans uh, have air superiority, okay? And their artillery will be advanced to four or less. Of course, machine guns are four or less anyway. And uh, we'll go ahead and roll for the two Ottoman machine guns first. And we're looking for four or less. Okay, got one hit. And that'll be uh, two British casualties that are taken. Again, no hospital, no ambulance service. So these are effectively eliminated. Okay. All right. And uh, we will now roll for two poison gas units for Britain. And we're looking for three or less on these. Okay. Okay, looks like Britain got one hit as well. And that will take two Ottoman infantry casualties. And we'll try to do a saving roll. Again, one or two is the only save. The remainder, uh, the Ottomans do not have a hospital. And so we'll, we'll look for a one or two for a save. Okay, we did get a two. So one unit was able to successfully thwart the effects of poison gas while the other, not so lucky. So he's eliminated. Okay, we'll go ahead and uh, roll the remainder for Britain. One tank at two or less. Okay, we missed that one. Two infantry, two or less. Okay, we did get one hit there. All right, and then we've got, uh, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 regular infantry. OK, 
Okay, and we're looking for three or less here. Okay, looks like uh, Britain got two there. Three, four, five, six. Okay, got a total of six hits there. In total, uh, all together, we got seven. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take off the Ottoman casualties. Okay, this is, uh, I think, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. Okay, so we'll take these six here. Uh, and take one of the artillery. Oh, you know what? I think the... Uh, I think in this instance we'll just take off a tank. All right, okay. Well, that's it for Britain. And uh, now it's time for the Ottomans to respond. Okay, we're gonna roll for the Ottoman fighter, two or less. Okay, they did get a hit. Two Ottoman tanks at, at one each. Okay, they missed. Okay, so we have six, seven total Ottoman infantry. Three or less. Okay, we got uh, looks like two hits, two more, and two more in the corner. All right. Okay. okay well, that's a hit. Butterfingers. All right. Now we will roll for the remaining artillery. This is five, six, seven, eight units of artillery, which is four or less. All right, four or less. Okay, we got two more. Uh, looks like we got two in the corner here, in the bottom. I think that's it. All right, so that's gonna, it's gonna take care of all the rolls for the Ottomans. So they got a total of uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 hits total. And uh, we'll see what, uh, what damage we're dealing with here. Okay, so we got 1, 2, okay, there is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, okay, all right. So there's the 11 casualties and I think that's it uh, looks like uh, this battle is going to end up uh, being contested all right uh, let's return these guys to the map all right uh, got our guys back on the map um, yeah it, it was a tremendous long shot Brits knew it uh, the Brits uh, had no choice um, for one, they cannot keep supplying India at this stage in the game. It's just, it's impossible. Britain's fighting a two-front war uh, with the loss of Russia, the impending loss of Italy that frankly has been really of no help this, this game. Uh, they've not been able to even get out of their peninsula. Um, France is, is doomed. Uh, <laughs> I mean, they're the target because, um, you know, with the fall of Russia, uh, according to the rules, we've just got to knock out one other major capital, uh, either Paris, London, or the United States. Uh, but uh, it's it's obvious the sites are on Paris, and so there'll be no more resupply of India, and this is it. And they are overwhelmed, for sure. Let's take a look at Europe real quick. All right, uh, we've got our nine infantry in London. And so the only resupply next round uh, will be nine troops, uh, nine infantry to Europe. Um, location to be determined, though. All right, that's going to do it for uh, Britain. Uh, we'll settle up on uh, IPC, and it's now the Ottomans. All right, round 10, the Ottomans. The Ottomans have 37 IPC to spend. And they will purchase two tanks, two artillery, and five infantry, 
which will leave them with uh, two IPC left over for the next round. Let's get to the map. All right, the Ottomans, um, they are going to attack the remaining British units that are in Mesopotamia. And we've got uh, an Ottoman truck in Constantinople that will be, it'll be bringing over one infantry and towing one artillery as well. Again, two spaces to uh, boost the attack. And uh, let's head to Europe. Okay. The Ottoman forces in Naples will be making an attack into Rome to see if they can knock out uh, Rome and give them a final death punch. And secondly, the, um, the Ottoman units uh, consisting of Bulgarians and Ottomans combined uh, will be moving from Piedmont into Marseilles to see if they can uh, soften up some of the American forces. Uh, in particular, since we've got three poison gas artillery, uh, they're gonna take a chance, uh, likely we'll get annihilated. Of course, these will all be in, in regular defense of artillery, non-poisonous gas. But the thought is, is if the Ottomans can weaken some of the American forces, then once Rome does fall, the majority of the uh, Austro-Hungarian forces can then flood into southern France. Okay, that's the strategy. Let's get to the battle board. All right, uh, we'll take care of Mesopotamia first. Uh, the Ottomans have air supremacy. And uh, because of that, uh, artillery will be advanced to four or less, as will the infantry that's attacking. All right, nothing special other than just air supremacy, so we'll get right to it. Uh, we're going to strafe with our fighter, two or less, and missed. Okay, we'll roll for the two infantry, three or less. Okay, we've got one hit. All right, now we have a... Um, take the casualty. All right, so we've got uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine artillery at four or less and uh yeah i just realized <laughs> i got my attacking tank on on the enemy side they commandeered it no that's not good so <laughs> we got a tank at three or less all right uh wow that's a first all right so again, again five six seven eight nine nine four or less okay All right, perfect. All right, uh, here we go, four less. Okay, looks like we got uh, three here. And you know what? Boom, that's got it. So, all right, uh, the, the Britons are finished in Mesopotamia. So let's, um, let's go ahead and uh, we'll roll. Uh, there's a total of four, three or less that the Brits will have in defense. All right, uh, wow, I've got one hit only. Yep, all right. Okay, well, expected. So we'll take off one Ottoman infantry and the remainder of the Brits are gone. Okay, this battle's finished. Uh, the Ottomans now have full control of Mesopotamia. All right, uh, we've got our forces back on the map. Uh, and again, in full control of, uh, by the Ottomans, and we've adjusted the, the IPC. So uh, we are off now to Italy. Okay, the Ottomans uh, for the Battle of Rome. Okay, uh, nothing special, just straight up combat. We're gonna roll for the two infantry at two or less. Ah, look at that, snake eyes, perfect. All right. Uh, We've got four artillery, three or less. Okay, so it looks like uh, got a total of one hit. All right, 
So that'll uh, that'll take down uh, three for Italy, and that's going to do it. Uh, so we'll take off uh, yeah, a total of three casualties there. Okay. All right. So in defense, uh, Italy has uh, let's see four, five, six, three or less. Okay. All right, six, three or less. Okay, got one, two, that's it, two hits only. All right, so we will take, the Ottomans will lose one infantry, one artillery. All right, Rome is now contested. Okay, these are gone. Right, Rome is contested, and that means uh, Rome has... No IPC coming in. Rome's worth three, it's now contested. All right, uh, let's get these back to the map. All right, uh, we've got the Battle of Marseilles. It's the Ottomans against the US, and we will roll for our two infantry at uh, two or less. Okay, we got one hit. Uh, now we will roll for artillery, three or less. Okay. Got another hit. So we got two hits in total, looks like. All right, that'll take away two of the uh, U.S. artillery. And in defense, the U.S. will roll for four, three, or less. All right. So it looks like the U.S. has got two total as well. So, all right, uh, we will take... The Bulgarians off, they have done a great service for the Ottomans. And we will take off one artillery unit as well. So we can keep uh, one infantry, one artillery. All right, so uh, Marseilles is now contested. And um, even though the Americans got kind of got the better of them, the Ottomans did accomplish their goal. And that's eliminate two of the U.S.'s poison gas artillery that they could otherwise use on an attack. So we whittled that down to one. So I think overall, I think the Ottomans uh, at least achieved their objective. So let's get these guys back to the map. All right, uh, the downside, uh, France goes down to again uh, because of this uh, uh, territory that's contested. Um, yeah, Rome, Rome is just an embarrassment. Uh, they're gone. So, uh, that, that, ba this battle with, uh, Italy is finished, uh, obviously. And, uh, we're going to be shifting forces over to Europe anytime soon. That's going to do it. Um, Italy has three IPC to spend. Four IPC, I believe. Let's go ahead and add them, uh, maybe one artillery unit. We'll be right back. All right, uh, before we get to Italy, we placed our new units in Constantinople. All right, uh, and as indicated, Italy had one remaining IPC. They've got four total. They will be buying one artillery unit, and given that Rome is contested, they will not be getting any income after this. All right, let's head, let's head to Italy. All right, Italy now has... Uh, Three units of artillery, one infantry in Rome. Um, the next round will have the uh, Austria-Hungarians rolling in. So Italy will be defeated if this goes to the next round. All right, and again, as indicated, uh, Rome will not get any IPC since uh, their only territory is contested. All right, we're off to the United States. All right, round 10, the United States. U.S. has 20 IPC, and they will be getting three artillery units, two infantry, and that'll give them two IPC left over. All right, let's head to the map. All right, U.S.'s turn. <clears throat> U.S. will attack into Marseilles. Two tanks as well. Um, yep, and the one artillery unit. And 
All right, remaining moves, the United States will add to the forces in the Picardy with their infantry, two tanks. Okay. Um, that, that is all of the United States forces in mainland Europe. Okay. Um, troops that are in route, C Zone 2, will actually go to C Zone 15 and will drop off six infantry into Bordeaux. And then the three transports already in place will go two spaces to C Zone 2, as will two additional transports with the idea of eventually picking up more infantry and artillery and the like. Uh, although we do have one here, which we will load up with uh, two artillery and then we will go two spaces to C Zone 7. All right, and then I will uh, I'll take care of uh, take care of these two here off camera. All right, uh, we'll be right back. All right, um, again, this is bringing us to the end of round ten. Uh, the United States has made their moves, and it is my opinion that this game uh, is going to be called. Um, and I'll go through my perspectives of the game, uh, and my rationale for calling the game, uh, at this point, at the end of round 10. Uh, again, if you notice, uh, uh, Italy has no, no income. Italy will be defeated this game, um, this round, pardon me. France is sitting at uh, 23 IPC. Uh, Britain has the most at 27 for the Allies. And then the United States uh, is at 20 and in no position to gain any more than 20. Uh, the Central Powers uh, still command the lead. Germany at 49, Austria-Hungary 46, the Ottomans 38. Okay, um, let's go to the map and uh, we'll kind of go over the rationale for ending this and I'll share my perspective of the game. All right, first, um, the, the Brits, frankly, just never were able to break out beyond Persia in the Middle East. Um, their shipping was sunk. Uh, early on in the game uh, off of East Africa by the Germans. Um, again, fighting a two-front war um, did not, uh, I'm not going to say it did not allow the Brits to move out because in other games um, I've been able to do that successfully and I know most people do. But uh, of course, as you know, I've been using some house rules in this game, and one thing I have noticed in terms of perspective, uh, the use of uh, trucks for the Ottomans really, uh, throughout this game, seemed to be able to, to work very effectively in being able to transport units directly from Constantinople directly to Mesopotamia in one round, uh, one, uh, one movement, I should say. But... Again, trying to put the bulk of the forces, uh, spent a lot in the Navy for Britain in defense of uh, German attacks, as well as, again, just trying to get forces into Europe. Uh, right or wrong, I just never was able to really move out of um, this area for Britain. And as you see, the Mesopotamians, uh, well, the, uh, the Ottomans, just held a, a straight line in Mesopotamia. Uh, the Brits never were able to successfully cross it, and they just bottled up the Brits. So uh, next round, if we were to go to another round, uh, there most surely would be a full-scale attack into Persia. Uh, we've even got one, one lone Ottoman up here in Kazakhstan that would also come down. Uh, the Brits would be finished in the Middle East, and they would go down, let's see, a total of seven IPC, okay? Um, you know, likely 
at least on the next round, here's one, there's three. Again, they would get the prize of India because there's no way forces are going to be able to be placed in India again. So, all right, uh, kind of moving on. The um, Central Powers in Africa uh, set out, they accomplished their goals. They set out uh, to basically remove the Allies from Africa. Uh, the Germans held their own. Uh, they, with again, with the use of the house rule, the machine gun, it um, at least provided, uh, if you recall, it did provide uh, a means of, of again, holding up uh, much needed uh, infantry over here in uh, British East Africa that could have otherwise been used elsewhere. Uh, we eventually got the upper hand, and uh, again, most assuredly, uh, moving these forces up minus the machine gun, very likely we'd be able to take out uh, the French unit. Um, we got the Ottomans up here that, you know, frankly, we just stopped. Uh, they could uh, certainly continue on and take more French um, territory, uh, and it would uh, would be unimpeded. There's no way France is getting any additional troops. Uh, down to Africa. So in essence, uh, we'd be looking at uh, France going down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven IPC in Africa, just for the simple fact that at this stage in the game, France is unable uh, to provide any reinforcements, okay? All right, uh, Italy. I know Italy has had a rough go. Certainly, we've uh, we've observed it. Uh, they were not able to break out, but it, you know it's clear at this point in time uh, Austria-Hungary would be up next. Okay, uh, they would send in uh, two units, poison gas, tank, attacking as well. Uh, they can send in at least half of half of the infantry, if not more. Uh, they would most definitely take Rome uh, just on the next turn. And uh, for some reason, if the attack that we sent in failed, and let's just say Italy has one piece, one infantry left, the Ottomans most assuredly would take Rome. So Rome is gone if we were to proceed next round. Now, okay, once, uh, once it was decided Rome uh, is gone, then the remainder of Austria-Hungary forces uh, will split these up, okay? Would essentially pour right into Piedmont as expected. And that's including poison gas artillery and then also fighter, okay? Uh, Forces in Tyrolia would also come down. And uh, obviously the, the fighter and infantry in Venice would just uh, essentially just keep coming down directly into southern France, okay? The other aspect the three transports, two battleships, once Italy is, is gone. The, uh, the Austria-Hungary Navy would have total control of the MED, unimpeded by a sea mine, uh, minus uh, the one in France. Uh, the idea would be that uh, Austria-Hungary would load these transports up, three of which likely uh, launch an amphibious assault into Marseille's as well, combination of uh, adjacent attacking infantry, tanks, and the like, okay? So, uh, the U.S. forces in southern France are maxed out in Marseilles. Um, they do have six infantry that landed in Bordeaux, okay? With what uh, the United States would have to contend with they very likely could get the 6th Infantry 
in the battle, uh, which we're going to be looking at uh, stalemate for some time. The only thing on the horizon uh, at this stage is two artillery, okay? That's coming into France. It's going to take two rounds to be able to to move over enough resupply from America, okay? Whereas Austria-Hungary has the luxury of, after the next round, launching a large-scale attack into Marseilles, okay? And with the numbers that's coming in reserve uh, from Venice in, and Tyrolia, and then also Vienna, the Austria-Hungarians can move forces in much faster than the United States at this stage can bring them over, okay? So that's part of the, that's, that's a big part of the rationale. Uh, the United States is, effect, is effectively ham, hamstrung at this point, and they're just unable to get the forces over because of the dire need uh, that France, France uh, is in right now and need of more defense. And the United States just cannot provide it fast enough to alleviate uh, the pressure on France. All right. Um, Again, Britain, at best, would be able to take over um, nine infantry, okay? Um, the three British battleships, okay, would have to, on the next round, right after Austria hungary okay, we've got four German battleships, okay, that would move in. Okay, the movement of two. Statistically, would say we've got four, four or less German battleships versus three, four or less. Statistically, we're going to win. Doesn't necessarily mean we will. Statistically, it's very likely. Let's just say in the end, if uh, we end up with one British uh, battleship that's damaged, okay, and the remainder, the remainder of the ships are sunk. The Germans um, are basically at 50 IPC, okay? They had a dollar left over. They can resupply two or three more battleships. And the Brits, uh, they can try to keep defending, but in, in, the, in the end, Germany's going to overtake their ability to maintain a defense in the North Sea, ultimately knocking out these ships. All right? Um... Belgium. Again, part of my rationale as well. There's a full-scale attack on the horizon here, okay? Um, we've got air superiority, which would certainly assist us in, in knocking out the remainder of the Brits, okay? Everything in Belgium, with the exception of the machine gunners uh, could very well attack, okay? And in part of the movement phase, what, what the plan was... Yeah, so, uh, you know, in the movement phase, what the plan for Germany was, uh, again, after the machine gun units are moved over to basically uh, continue to, to make this a contested territory. Uh, France would, you know, they'd be looking at trying to attack against three machine guns. Um, Germany could also, with two trucks, uh, be able to uh, bring over a few units, two spaces in here. But in Belgium, we're looking at, uh, these are two blue chips and a red. So this is 26 regular artillery, three tanks, a poison gas artillery unit. Again, Brits, uh, they would have, uh, their poison gas is a uh, void. They would have to, uh, you know, only fire their artillery as regular. Uh, we've got air superiority, okay? And then um, the rear would essentially be moving in its forces, including two more tanks in the attack. So, most assuredly, Belgium is gone, okay? So, then if we... 
if we look at uh, the Germans capture Belgium again, this is this would be actually the next round. Uh, Lorraine would be in a, uh, a stalemate. Uh, the only remaining forces that France has at this point in Picardy is uh, three machine gun units, two artillery. All right. Uh, the U.S. has uh, three infantry, two tanks. Uh, the bulk of the German forces will survive in this battle, no doubt. Okay, so um, the only way that uh, France would be able to deal with the onslaught of the Germans that's coming in at this stage would be to uh, try to move up their uh, machine gun units, likely not all, but likely uh, we'll say we'll say four. Okay. We'll say four machine gun infantry units could move up. They would need to keep at least possibly two, given the Austria-Hungarians coming in southern France. Again, the prize is Paris. Okay, so some of these uh, French units would either have to be moved to Burgundy or Bordeaux, likely to establish some kind of buffer. Of course, uh, France would then be able to, again, purchase a few more units. But in essence, what it's boiling down to is, is it's just, it's going to be an agonizing slugfest of defense for Paris when you've got two major uh, central powers that uh, are producing significant IPC. So my, my best estimation would be uh, we could probably take Paris out realistically, I would say in the next four rounds and it would likely be again just a a continuation of movements you know directly toward Paris and the Americans would likely get cleaned up in two to three rounds and so any any American forces that are coming overseas are going to be met on the shores very likely by the Austria Austria Hungarians somewhere around here okay um, the Ottomans have full reign at that point. They eventually will send their forces over. So, um, you know, rather than continue on with uh, two or three more videos that nobody's going, <laughs> nobody's going to want to watch at this stage uh, because the writing's on the wall. I think it's, uh, I think it's fair to go ahead and call this game. Um, uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed using the house rules. A uh, bit more perspective, though. You know, I did talk about the trucks. The trucks also were very effective for Germany, as well as Austria-Hungary. And so, um, you know, the way it worked out with the, um, you know, with the Allies being just, just flat out on the defense this whole game, they really weren't in much of a position to purchase trucks. The U.S. actually brought a couple over. Um, with the idea of breaking out, but it just did not happen. Um, the use of uh, machine guns, uh, game changers, uh, and poison gas. You know, if you recall, you know, the slugfest that was Poland early on, Ukraine. I mean, uh, it just, uh, it, it did, I mean, it did produce uh, significant uh, game changers by using both poison gas and you know, again, the uh, machine gun units. Uh, uh, Moscow was basically uh, had a line of machine guns as well, but uh, they were overtaken by Austria-Hungary. Uh, so I think that uh, you know that ha those house rules worked very effectively this game. Um, uh, the only disappointment, my you know, my house rule of uh, ambulances and hospitals. Um, I, I guess just the way it worked out, and and I didn't purchase that many for one. Uh, but the continual slugfest on the Western Front, frankly, didn't really provide more room for purchasing. And I didn't, you know, as I got into the game, I didn't pay as much attention to it. And that's, that's my fault. Uh, this is a minor house rule. It's not necessary. But, you know, uh, when I've used it before, when you can actually save one, two um, at a time from poison gas or machine gun units, can help. Um, and also, I will note in the past uh, when I've used this in, in a couple of my games as well, 
I've actually had more ambulances. Um, like for instance, I know I've had maybe three ambulances before with France and uh, I've also had uh, some with uh, Austria-Hungary. Um, but I, I, I just didn't, I didn't particularly focus on it and that's on me and I apologize because in part it's a house rule that I wanted to use but I just didn't really, didn't really dive into it that much. Um, what else? I think, uh, I think that's it, uh, for the most part, uh, in terms of house rules. Um, you know, my perspective, I, I just, um, I wanted to present my game with the house rules that I've got at this stage that I've used several times. And I think I effectively was able to do that. And, um, I certainly have appreciated the uh, comments along the way, uh, you know, the uh, questions, uh, any critique, totally fine. Uh, but um, yeah, I think this one's going to be called. Uh, I just don't want to continually just keep filming a, a slugfest that's getting closer and closer to Paris. Uh, there's just no way that, uh, you know, the London's going to be able to supply enough troops over. And the same with the U.S., um, they're just not, I mean, they're, again, Britain's going to be dropping seven IPC from the Middle East, France, uh, I think was seven in Africa uh, over, uh, you know, a number of turns and it's just not getting any better. So, so for that reason, uh, we'll go ahead and call the game. Um, I do appreciate you guys tuning in and, uh, we will, uh, certainly revisit another game sometime in the future. Uh, I think at this point I'm going to kind of shift my focus on to a few other things on my channel. Uh, again, Axis and Allies related though. But uh, again, appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, this is the Plastic Commando. We are at the end of round 10. Over and out.